what is this about? Redemption, embezzlement, and forgery. Kind of underhanded, don't you think? The chemistry between yourself and Elizabeth, it's quite sizzling. What went into the casting of this? I've seen their work, so I knew that mm -hmm. they could uh, do very well, even together. I mean, but there's always the chance that, you know, with films, you never know. You know, you put two people together, they don't know each other, and there could be, like, Horrors. It's always second chance, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I guess it's a matter of luck as well. Mm. So it, was there an element of, of getting to know each other? Or how did you kind of find that connection? Well, I mean, we met at your house mm -hmm. in London mm -hmm. for lunch. And dinner. And then it went into dinner, <laughs> and then it went into... so that, yeah. And that was, yeah, we, we sat there forever. And, and that was quite... And already there, it sort of felt, okay, this is mm -hmm. going really... This is going to be exactly what I hoped it would mm -hmm. be. Cause up, Obviously, in order to get that thing going that they have, there needs to be sort of that attraction and also, mm -hmm. but also like this standoffish kind of thing that they've got. So it's, it's, it's that thing. And I, me I immediately sort of had the feeling that we would get to that mm -hmm. when we met. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of wine involved. As well. uh, yeah, a lot of wine was involved. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted to touch on Mick Jagger. I mean, it's fantastic to see him in a role like this. How did that come about? Uh, we sent the script, mm -hmm. um, he liked it, I went to meet him and um, it was obviously very, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sort of, okay, Mick Jagger. <laughs> but he's not, he's very approachable, he's mm -hmm. very, very sweet, he's a, yeah. he's a very nice guy and so at the end of the day he wasn't Mick Jagger the rock star anymore, he was just like another actor on mm -hmm. set. I mean, Cassidy is a very gregarious character, so I kind of expect that to be who he is in real life, too, when <laughs> he's not on the stage and performing. Is <laughs> No. Yeah. Oh, he's not like that at no. all. No. No. <laughs> no. no, he had to do his, um, you know, he had to do his actor work. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's not, he's instead very sweet, very nice, very energetic. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, I think what wor works really well is that he is so sweet, and then when you put that together with a guy that's so... Not sweet. <laughs> nasty, I mean, yeah. I mean, that, that's so not. And I mean, everything he does is really nasty. But he's really sweet about it. I mean, when you put, <laughs> I mean, that 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 dynamic is just really cool. Because because uh, I mean, if he was like, if he was really nasty and arrogant and all that, and 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 then all the actions. I mean, then it would just be cheese on cheese, wouldn't it? Mm. Here is like it's mm. got the best of both worlds in a way. Huh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, are are either of you? Count, do either of you count yourselves as major Rolling Stones fans? Yeah, then, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we're old enough. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Well, I wondered if if this movie had a theme song and it was a Stone song, what would this what so, Stone song? Oh, song sympathy song for the devil. Sympathy. Sy yeah. Oh my God! Of course. <laughs> gives us this pretty compelling argument for the nature and the usefulness of art criticism. Where do we stand on the, the nature of film critics? We need criticism, um, you know, in art or films or music because or maybe we don't have, not all of us have the tools to, you know, understand or decipher or... So we, we need it, I mean, but we're not, you know, we're not talking about Art critic, the whole, mm -hmm. you know, but we're just, this world is just a guy. It's we're a not, guy we're not, who's we're not saying that happens all to be an art critic. Yeah, and it's yeah, very yeah. bad. Of course, but I mean, but I actually think, I mean, what he says in that opening speech is actually, I mean, he he does sort of say, okay, I've just tricked all of you into believing this, but he sort of says it to say to people, be no, careful, be yeah. careful, listen, mm -hmm. trust your own judgment, stop trusting someone like me because I can't be trusted. <laughs> And he sort of says that, and still people think that he's an asshole mm. because he, he falls. <laughs> I mean, but he's actually really giving I it away. You, yeah. He's like saying, "Hey, you can't trust me, so don't mm -hmm. trust yourself." <laughs> but nobody pays attention to that. No. So as me, myself in the audience, I should have been really clocking that. And thinking, no, but I mean, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes, he's of sort course. of really. He says it. He really says. I mean, I'm not someone. To, yeah, you, you're really be revealing the tricks. Yes, yeah. I reveal it, and I sort of yeah. give it away, and I say so. Trust yourself, don't trust anybody else uh, and all their fake news or whatever they've got. You know, don't you? Play what? It's true. 